Good morning, class. Today we're going to read another chapter of this Frog and Toad book. Before I start, let's think back to the last story and talk about the message. So, I loved reading your responses. It was a tough one. Remember, Toad made a list, and then the list blew away, and he said, Oh, I can't do anything. It's not on my list. And he just sat there. So, the message I got from the story was, You can't plan for everything in life. You must be flexible. And this really spoke to me as a teacher because I try to plan to teach you all and sometimes what I think is going to work doesn't work and then sometimes things work that I didn't think. So in life, you can never plan for everything in life. Like, did we plan to have to do this? No. Can you make a list and plan everything out? No. Do we like to try to plan? Yes, but you must be flexible. And that means you must change with what happens and be ready to adapt and be flexible. Dad, does that make sense? Sure, it does. Yes. And I love, we are always looking for messages and stories because they always have a message and it's a great way to learn. And sometimes you don't like it when a grown up tells you, the, teach you a lesson. Life is like this. So if you don't like grown ups telling you that, maybe you could read more and get lessons from the books you read. So always look for the lesson. I know I was that type of kid where it's like, don't tell me. I don't want you to tell me the lesson, grown up. You're so, still that way. I am still. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> I did not listen to my dad all the time. Now we're going to read chapter two. To dad. To toad. Never thought I'd be singing with my dad in a toad voice. Toad. He's got the lower voice. All right. This is called The Garden. You are going to be looking for the message. For this one, I won't um, have you do the problem and solution. Actually, I'm going to share the same worksheet with you because I think you'll get used to it. And I'm really focusing on the message part. And if you don't get it, don't you don't have to write anything. I loved some of your responses too. Some of you said don't make excuses because Toad was making an excuse. Some of you said you've got to get over it, get over things when they don't work out for you. Love those messages. Some great answers yesterday. So great job. All right. The garden. Frog was in the garden. Toad came walking by. What a fine garden you have, Frog, he said. Yes, said Frog. It is very nice, but it was hard work. I wish I could have a garden, said Toad. Here are some flower seeds. Plant them in the ground, said Frog, and soon you will have a garden. How soon, asked Toad. Quite soon, said Frog. Toad wants a garden. Mm -hmm. Frog has a garden. Toad ran home. He planted the flower seeds. Now seeds, said Toad, start growing. Toad walked up and down a few times. The seeds did not start to grow. Toad put his head close to the ground and he said loudly, Now seeds start growing. Toad looked at the ground again. The seeds did not start to grow. Now I have a question for you. If I yell at a seed, will it grow? Dad? Of course not. No, but you do know that plants take in our, what do you call that? Carbon dioxide. Thank you, Dad. And then they give out, Dad? Oxygen. So it's nice to have plants around. It's like a win-win. You take my breath, you give me what I breathe in. Some plants like to be talked to. I guess. But not, not when they're seeds. Yeah, see, you're right, Dad. You're right. Thank you. See, you're adding so much. Toad put his head very close to the ground and shouted, Now seeds start growing! Frog came running up the path. What is all this noise? He asked. My seeds will not grow, said Toad. You are shouting too much, said Frog. These poor seeds are afraid to grow. My seeds are afraid to grow? Asked Toad. Of course, said Frog. Leave them alone for a few days. Let the sun shine on them. Let the rain fall on them. Soon your seeds will start to grow. Frog, always with so much wisdom. I love how he told Toad, too. You're scaring the seeds. Do you think that the seeds are really scared to grow or there's something else? I think it's something else. I don't think it's that they're scared. But Frog seems to know. He said, let the sun shine. Let the rain fall. That night, Toad looked out of his window. Drat, said Toad. My seeds have not started to grow. They must be afraid of the dark. Toad went out to his garden with some candles. I will read the seeds a story, said Toad. Then they will not be afraid. Toad read a long story to his seeds. What a sweet Toad. He brought a book out there. He's reading to his seeds. You know what, Toad? I don't know, though. Something about Toad bothers me sometimes. Don't get me started on Toad. All the next day, Toad sang songs to his seeds. And the next day, Toad read poems to his seeds. Hey, we're doing poetry, a connection. And the next day, Toad played music for his seeds. I love this picture. Please zoom in on Toad playing a violin. That not that the cutest thing? Love it. 
Toad looked at the ground. The seeds still did not start to grow. What shall I do? cried Toad. These must be the most frightened seeds in the whole world. Then Toad felt very tired and he fell asleep. Ah, uh, make a prediction. What do you think is going to happen? Hmm. Toad, Toad, wake up, said Frog. Look at your garden. Toad looked at his garden. Little green plants were coming up out of the ground. At last, shouted Toad. My seeds have stopped being afraid to grow. And now you will have a nice garden, too, said Frog. Yes, said Toad. But you were right, Frog. It was very hard work. And here's Toad's garden. What do we notice? Little sprouts. Now, you could say the problem in the story was what? Was the solution that the seeds stopped being afraid? I don't think so. What really happened? Do seeds grow instantly? Instantaneously? No, says Dad. Just get a shot of Kirby. No, says Kirby. He likes to listen to our stories. Um, and think about what the message was. There was a real good message here. Something to do with, with I'm not even going to, I'm not giving it away. You tell me. Do your best. Either write it out. You could say it. You can record it, you can post a video, you can type right into Dojo, you know the drill. Please post to your portfolio. Keep watching these read-alouds. I'll talk to you all on Thursday, because Wednesday's a catch-up day. Dad, any final thoughts? Not today, son. All right. Have a wonderful day.